Welcome back to the live here from Pawn Expo 2019. With me, I've got Craig from Eminem. How you doing, brother? Good. Hey, everybody. How are you? Good. This is the second time you've been live it, with me at a, at a conference. It is. So. Absolutely. It's always a great time. So really quickly, um, let's let's go into what Eminem does. I know you guys got a brand new uh, catalog. catalog yeah, our catalog awesome. actually rolled out at the show here. Uh, 44 years in business with Eminem. Uh, really love Pawn. Love our customers at Pawn. We attend almost every show, right? Yeah. So we get to spend a lot of time together. Uh, love our customers, love to learn from them, uh, you know, to do everything we can to serve our industry. So, yeah, it's been a lot of fun. Awesome. So you're holding Shamu in your hand. I'm from San Diego. Okay. What, what's, I what? see the, yeah, the, the sea world, right? Yeah, exactly. So you're loving my Shamu is what you're saying. I'm like, I want to take that home to my daughter. But, uh, you know, <laughs> why do you have I'll, Shamu I'll, in your I'll hand? let you have yeah. it. Yeah. So Pond Expo this year, they've done a lot of really fun, unique things to really help build engagement, uh, you know, through through the audience and to intermingle all of the customers and the vendors together. So one of the things that they rolled out this year was a, a treasure hunt, Okay. right? So all the vendors had a, uh, you know, something like this, but okay. you know, some might be a turtle or a fish. We just happen to get Shamu, right? So <laughs> think the killer well. So as customers come by, they would try to find the animal that you represented. They would circle it on their There's treasure a piece hunt. Of paper, yeah, yeah, a piece of paper, and then they would turn it in for, uh, you know, for cash drawings. But I really give my hats up. So Expo and the leadership team and, you know, thank Tim for all of his service over the last year. And I know we just welcomed a new leader in this yeah, year. Yeah, and, really. uh, Karen and the commitment that they do for, for us in our industry uh, to help give us the right education and build and grow together as a group is just absolutely phenomenal. So I wouldn't miss this event for the world. Really. Awesome. Love that. So if you're a palm broker who's not here, really, it is one of the most engaged uh, crowd I've seen. What I mean by that is everyone's sharing, everyone's happy, everyone's talking, everyone's visiting the booths. Um, I were at the bars that night right. talking and sharing about ideas. Right. Um, so if you're not here, you're missing out on what could be like a gold nugget of information that you could be losing money. Right. And, and I'll tell you that that sharing is really the key. And, yeah. you know, and I know last time that we did a, a podcast together, you know, we talked about the sharing of information. And since yeah. then, you know, we've built and formed different partnerships and relationships where it's not greedy. It's really the industry and even the vendors coming together to yeah. figure out how you can consolidate and combine to do things that help all, right? And that yeah. is different in this industry than any other industry that I've been in. So it's pretty it's unique awesome. and pretty special. Yeah, awesome. absolutely. And I think it's a two-way street. Us as vendors, because I'm a vendor now, I was a palm broker for 16 years. But the more we find support and get support from the from the audience and from the tribe, right. the more services we can put out, get products we can put out, better services that we can do to help grow their business. Because when the pawn brokers grow, we grow and vice versa. Yeah, that, that's right. We want the pawn, the, the pawn family success. That's right. what we want. Well, and, and this is also an industry that's ever changing. Yeah, I mean, for sure. You know, from pawns and laws, and you know, I mean, it's just you know. But to hear, so I was sitting at the table last night. By the way, I did not win. Sorry. Okay. <laughs> yeah, but sitting at the table last night and hearing best practice stories being told around, hey, I've got a problem. How do you solve this? Yeah. And these were, I'll call it, competing pawn shops in the same area. Oh, wow. And he's saying, hey, I want you to go out and do this. This is how you get around this. And hey, watch this. You know, so it is really, you know, fairly unique around that and, and the sharing. So, you know, I, I tell people to come out, right? I mean, because yeah. it's, it's, it's you learn and it is something that helps insulate this, this show. All the shows really help us insulate and protect ourselves in an ever-changing industry that's out there. So uh, you talked about something really well. You talked about uh, there's two types of mindsets. One's scarcity mindset. One's abundance mindset. And the people in Ponyo have an abundance mindset. They that's why they'll share they do. with their competition. That's right. Yep, they do. Sometimes you'll be here, but I can't share with my competitor what's going on here. Everyone's open. We want everybody to succeed. We want you to grow your pump balance and make more sales and hire better people. That's why everybody's sharing. Well, and it, it's still, you know, we're, we're fighting an, an unreal image. Yeah. And the more that we can fight that image together to really bring pawn to life of what it does. And, you know, we do have something to serve customers that other brick and mortar retail stores yeah. don't have. Yeah. Right? You know, so that's special. And if you can figure out how to capitalize that as a group together, you know what they say, you know, high tides raise all boats, right? Yeah, love that. And then when, when you see those high tides start to raise all boats, right, then the group really starts to get together and they engage. And really that's what this expo does for me. It's an engagement factor that brings vendors and partners and, and everybody together to talk about real world issues that's happening in our industry. So a uh, really cool thing. Mostly the changes like what we're trying to do in technology. Yeah. Right? Yeah. And, you know, sure. help people through that transformation uh, to help them be more efficient again make more money and you yeah. know be you know legal at the same time so love that Craig you're awesome man really cool. and if you're here actually because there's a lot of people at Pawn Expo watching these lives Craig has Shamu 
All right. I just gave it away. See, I'm a, somebody's going to win a prize. I'm like, I'm going to give it to you at the end of the show. Though. You can put it on your yeah. desk. So. Yeah, that's right. I'm going to take it as a gift to my daughter. Um, thank you guys for watching. There's a lot more to come. Um, the booths are going to be closing down at about yeah. 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, yeah. And then we've got uh, Q&A sessions. We've got a marketing session. So uh, I'll also go to pawnexpo.com to buy your ticket for next year yeah. because it's going to be at the Paris Hotel. And the prices are are going to be cheaper now than they will in a couple of months. Good. So the price is going up. So make the plan. Just commit. Yeah, just come. Yeah, just come. It'll be, it'll be worth your time and money for 100%. sure. Yeah. Here from Pawnee 2017.